Because when when Chad used to use um Armiko, he always would go Jury. Mm -hmm. Probably didn't like the Kami versus um Mika matchup, but but he seems a little bit more confident in Kami versus Kami. Oh, he's starting off good though. Nice offense by him. But I was saying the type of play style that Minoko has, um, it's really one where he kind of like baits out stuff because he's used, he's abused Kami walk speed. Yeah, it is. Like that's just you know, general footies. Mm -hmm. um, Kami has some good long reaching buttons, but um, for this game, even for this game, if you're going for whiff punishes, you want you want to be able to confirm a single hit with the special move. Okay. So you want to use your movement to your advantage. Yeah, I, I was saying his confirms wasn't really like on point. At least not as on point as um, Chad's. Because yeah. for Chad, Chad, like once he get that one hit, that one opening, he can run away with that. That that can be like a five six hit combo. Yeah. He's confirmed a lot off a lot of things. But like he have these little plans and strategies that just work. Yeah, that's, that's how you gotta, you gotta build up your, your flow chart and use your character's most effective traits. Mm -hmm. And uh, be, be aware of your weaknesses so you don't overextend. See that? Stuff like that is what I'm talking about. I feel like when Minoko gets you in a situation like that, he doesn't run away with it. At least not versus Shad, he doesn't run away with it as much. Because I feel like he's not sure when he's going to get that hit. Like I feel like he'll throw hit boxes, but he's just unsure. Oh, this is going to land, and I can confirm off this. And I, uh, usually that's when you just, you're just unfamiliar with a matchup, or you're just not used to a person's particular play style. Oh. I think he had more data on Armiko, but when it comes to Colleen, he has no data at all. So, um, Colleen one of the characters. Jesus. Colleen is one of the characters I kind of slept on, but she has some, um, some, good, some, tools, yeah, some good buttons in general. Because if you see, if you even look at Jess Colin's uh, stance in the neutral, she's a character that is good at, at, at with punishing pokes. Mm -hmm. really, I wouldn't really call her like a rush down, I call her like a mid range poke out of poke character. And that was something like what Mika was? Mika was more, was basically purely rush down because. She has some T Rex limbs and Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You basically wanna be in their in their face as much as possible. So that's why you have to always get them in the corner with her. Yeah. Okay. Well now, um But I guess it I would say it shoot it, it suits uh Shad more because if you remember Super Street Fighter for yeah. tournament days, he always had like multiple means to deal with different, you know, nuisances and stuff like that. But when it came to Street Fighter Five he only really had Nico and for a long time, the character was really carrying him places, and then people started to understand the matchup more. That's when he started losing. Um, but now that he has Colleen, it's, it's almost like it started again, because he's just destroying Minoko. Yeah, I'd say it's a, a, lot of do, a lot to do with like familiarity. Yeah. It's Colleen being a character you see you play very often. I mean, she's starting to sort of pick up in popularity with so one or two. One or two means, eh? Yeah, one or two players mm -hmm. starting to make waves with her, but... I can say I'm um, definitely with the brush up on the matchup. Agreed. I always, like, wanted a team to, like, go off of Street Fighter. I feel like Shad, Shad and Jojo could probably be that team. But Jojo, uh, much less from, from me with him. Because, like, he is a good player, but I don't know if he could take, like, pressure. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I think, really, what it is, as a group, we never really like, we never really took the time to like really like discuss strategy or to like, help each other improve or play like that. Because you know, we're not there, we have a bunch of different stuff that they doing, and, uh, right? We never really had the time to just sit down and commit. Yeah, I, that too. Even even when we have like you know, the casual get together. Never really to like, like I say, like to, to develop strategies and stuff like that. More just to play, and have a little smart talk and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it, bro. I, I, I have to, I have to say that's the truth. That's from what I've observed. Um, just you know, getting put in pressure situations. I only can tell you what I see, bro. I can't tell you. I ain't saying you suck. I just saying you know, like you. 
And I'm not meaning pressure in the game. I mean it like outside the game. You gotta have like nerves of steel. Cause when you go to these tournaments, but I can tell you right now, like it ain't easy, dog. And that's from personal experience, dog. There's a lot of pressure. Yeah, you can't break easy. Well, not break, but you just gotta like you gotta hold that shit together. Oh, not a good trade. It's only invincible on the way up. Uh, she coming down. She's falling over. Wins. Wasn't able to yeah. even land that. I think Monoko is losing patience. He's walking to a couple buttons now. Yeah, he ain't playing as, 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 as good as he should. Man, like, um, <coughs> just needs to like, take note of how Shad is playing. He's just so on the other hand, there's Shad. We're sort of backing off, feeling it out. Minoku, like I said, he just walked, walked into the buttons over extended. Uh, I think he's starting to figure it out, though. I think he's using some 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 information. Like, like he, he gathering some knowledge on this matchup. And you could see somewhat applying it. He ain't walking in as much as before. He just needs to slow the pace down. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, he needs to just take it slow and... Stop going in so much. But then again, if he doesn't go in, Chad is going to just use the tactical strategy of uh, I have projectiles. An infinite supply of them, too. And um, Colin's projectiles are uh, kind of special. Yeah. I wouldn't really say that they have owner to do um, The best strategy is to put them out when you know your opponent has to respect them. Because they're extremely plus on block because Colin is able to act while the fireball is coming down. Mm -hmm. So it's really mostly only for setups. Yeah, I could see that. Um, but then Minoko looked like he doesn't. Either he doesn't know how to deal with it, or Shad is just using it or placing it right. Okay, look like he's starting to bring it back now. Oh, now he's back in the corner. Oh, Jesus. Like, when he hopping and skipping around, sometimes I just, like, wonder if he in control of that. God, oh, okay. Hey, Minoko? Yeah, Minoko. Because like, he tends to, like, jump a lot. And then I I was wondering if he know where he, where he landing. Okay, maybe Sometimes. just a bad habit because um, we saw there when he jumped over Shad. Shad um, beat out whatever he was planning to do with buttons and like I don't I don't know like, I can't explain why he went for that jump himself because I I would assume he would know when he could jump and be safe on the landing. That I was yeah. But I think he was just trying to get shot by surprise with that. One. Um. I see like situations like that, Minoko need to be aware of because he went to a button shot that hit the shot is still like protect the throw. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that awareness though. Like, like I say, it's it, it's up to both of them because if Minoko hadn't had gone for that throw and shot and shot and throw and lift, then he could have potentially gone for a punish. Ooh, that, that could have been a punish right there. That could have been a shimmy. That was a nice block, but. Sit up. Oh, God. Like, see, he, like, he walking back and forth, like, trying to bait Chad to do something. Okay, finally. And he actually confirmed. Thank goodness. I, I was wondering, like. Like, he got he got one on the board, but at least he on the board now. Nah. He slowed it down a bit there and tried to look out for stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think he needs, he needs to learn how to pick up on stuff like that a little bit faster now. Yeah, because I wasn't looking too pretty for him. You could see from the set start shot, they start off by you know, just feeling him out. And then Minoko overextend, put himself in a bad situation. Shad was adapting to a lot of like his, his pressure. Like there's certain things that players do when they get in pressure. I think Minoko loves to jump. And one shot condition him to jump, it's like, come here. You know, you, you take a better percent. Like this, this is a game where, uh, like, awareness is important. Yeah. Especially coming off a uh, Street Fighter 4 where there's much, much more faster pace and awareness sort of fell to the wayside and uh, the favor of stuff like option selects. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. But, you know, it's a different game. People don't like it for that reason, I guess. But I feel like it, it, is, it is a little bit more straightforward. 
Like it's still a competitive game. Yeah. And then, like I, I could sit down and watch Street Fighter. Like I, it's especially fi five and four. I, I got into it, um, watching you guys play it a lot, and it's actually it's really good to me. To be honest, I could sit down and watch a whole, a whole um, top eight round finals. Street both, Fighter. Both games look quite good in that one, right? Mm -hmm. Like I think at the end of the day, it's about, you know, about the competition, about being competitive. It's, yeah, it's about being competitive, yeah. If you feel the game, if you, you know, you got other options out there, fortunately. You know. Yeah, that's true. Like, esports is it's, it's wide, and, you know, there's a lot of different games that people can get into. Uh, Street Fighter community surviving because the game isn't as bad as people make it out to be. You know? I mean, and people wouldn't be here today if, you know, the game was that bad, so. You can't always just like completely throw it under the bus. Yeah, like uh, not every game ain't gonna be for everyone. Yeah. Y'all lasting longer than other communities, I can tell you that. Oh, nothing. But like when Shad was sitting down with me, he was pointing out a lot of things that King Blade should have been doing versus Minoko. And you could see it in Shad's playstyle. He knows when to block and like when when there's an opening by so I, I just think like he just understands Minoko's playstyle to a degree. All right, it look like they Minoko trying to stay on the board, trying to probably put a like another number on the board. Minoko, I uh, guess like, like stuff, like small stuff like that. You really need to practice and get down pat. Is that kind of situation, right? They could have finished the match with that. Mm -hmm. They both have another control, Oh god, and it's back here again where Shad just understand neutral. Got him. And he just always win in neutral way. Because there was that situation right there where Minoko just do that panic jump in. Yeah, but, um, but before, even before that, Minoko had him in the corner. Caught him with the shimmy, walked up through him. But then immediately went for another throw with and Shad with this throw. And then Minoko tried to press the button and Shad caught him out and, made my, and fought his way out the corner. Damn. Like, All right. Like small stuff like that can make a big difference in a match. Like. <laughs> well, that's it for now. Are they going to go play? Thingum. All right, guys. Uh.